entrepreneur is that the circumstances and the possibilities for your future based on all right so i'm going to teach you guys how to meditate this is something that is very simple to do anyone can learn this um, but when you do learn it okay it's going to be something that you can do every single day and it's going to really improve your life and how you feel so to start with all you're going to do is you're just going to get your phone okay you're going to set a timer for five or ten minutes i would start with five minutes simply because you're going to be you're going to be new to this right so you're not going to really want to do it for so long that it becomes a challenge and it becomes a chore you want to just make sure you do this every day okay so the first thing you do is just set a timer for 10 minutes or five minutes and then all you're going to do is you're going to sit in a chair much like this okay you're going to relax relax your muscles make sure you've got something supporting your legs and your arms and you're just going to literally just close your eyes okay so let me just so literally you're just going to go like this just relax close your eyes and you're going to count your breath from one to ten so you're going to start by counting one with the in breath and then two with the out breath Okay, but it's very important not to focus too much on the actual breathing part of it. You just want to focus on the counting. You don't want to force yourself to breathe in a certain rhythm or in certain timings. You want to just count the breaths as they naturally happen. So if, if you take long, deep breaths and it takes you ages, that's fine. Or if you take shorter, shallower breaths, that's also fine. You just All you need to do is make sure you count them. So you one with the in-breath, two with the out-breath. Three in, four out. All the way until you get up to ten. Now when you get to ten, you go back to zero again and start with one and you're literally just going to do that for 10 minutes you can move on to longer times in the future but obviously that's going to be more challenging because it's going to be harder to stay focused for that long at the beginning you just need to do that for five or ten minutes so you just need to count your breaths now what's going to happen is a few things are going to happen when you start doing this you're going to start thinking about all sorts of things that you want to do in your day you're going to start thinking about what am i going to make for lunch who am i seeing today what do i need to do these are all what we call monkey mind thoughts or like the chatter that goes on in your mind all the time. As much as you can, you want to try and ignore you want to try and ignore those thoughts and let them sort of pass over you. Imagine it's like you're watching a film, but you're not really engaging with what's happening, you're just sort of watching it. That's how you need to try and be with these thoughts. So obviously the thoughts are gonna pop up. Let's say for example you're sitting there, your eyes are closed, and you start thinking, what am I gonna have for lunch today? The second you realise that you're doing that, the second you realise that you're thinking about something other than just counting the breaths, instantly bring yourself back to counting and just completely forget about the other thought. Now, obviously this is easier with experience, this is going to be hard at the beginning because the tendency is to think, oh well I, I need to engage with this thought, I need to like entertain it, I need to answer the questions I'm asking myself in my head. But you don't, you just need to let them pass over you. And the same can be said, the most common thing that you'll think about, right, you'll start meditating, maybe you'll get, you know, a minute or two into the meditation, and then you'll start having these thoughts like, am I meditating properly? You know, am I counting my breaths in the right way? How long have I been doing this for? When is the timer going to go off? These are the most common thoughts, especially when you're starting out, because they're the things that you would immediately be thinking about, okay? So, as I said, every time you catch yourself thinking about these things, bring your awareness back and just try and ignore those thoughts. Try and ignore those thoughts as much as you can because they're just going to get in the way. And what will happen is after a while you'll start to feel like you can just focus on only the counting. Okay, this is, this is the point you're aiming for where you can sit down, meditate and only focus on the numbers, the counting of your breaths. And then eventually you can drop the counting completely and just meditate naturally. That's the goal, okay? The counting is just a way of getting you to focus on one thing that isn't all of these other thoughts that you normally have. So that's the goal here. You're going to focus on the counting of your breaths, and then when you've done that for a, a month or so, then you can focus on just focusing on nothing. <laughs> right? That's a bit of a tongue twister, but you focus on just breathing. Without counting the breaths, just breathing. And then once you've done that, that's pretty much meditation. Then you can also move this on to doing it for longer periods of time. You can do it for, say, 20 minutes or half an hour. I wouldn't suggest doing this for longer than 20 minutes, really, though, because you're going to get the benefits that you need from about 10 to 20 minutes. As long as you do it every day, that's, that's the key with this. As long as you do it every day, you're going to feel the benefits very soon. Now, when I say every day, I do mean that you have to do this every single day, at, at roughly the same time as well, ideally. So say if you do it in the morning, Make sure you do it at roughly the same time every morning. And it's a cumulative effect. So the more you do this, the more days you do this consecutively, right? Your the, the bigger the benefits are going to be. It's going to start stacking up and you're going to start, eventually you'll get to the point where 
it would be weird not to meditate. That's, you know, one of the definitions of building a habit is when it's weird not to do the thing. But also you'll find that you feel that much better when you're doing it because you're so used to meditating. You've been doing it for so many days in a row that the effects start stacking up and, and compounding on each other and it just feels really good. And that's what you're aiming for, really. Now, a few frequently asked questions with this are things like, what does it feel like? So let's just address these one by one. So what does it feel like? Meditation, when you start, feels really uncomfortable. You start thinking all sorts of thoughts, you know, you start asking yourself questions, you start criticising yourself, like why am I just sitting here doing nothing? What should I be feeling? What should I be thinking? This is fairly normal, um, and this does pass with time. And I would say that you need about one to two weeks of doing this every day to really get a feel for the experience. And if you just do this once, for example, Chances are it's going to feel uncomfortable, it's going to feel weird, and you're not you're not going to want to carry on doing it, okay? Because it's going to feel too, too strange and uncomfortable. It's too different to what you're used to. So that's what it feels like. At the beginning it feels uncomfortable, but then as you progress and as you do it for more days in a row, then it starts to feel really bliss and relaxing, and it feels like you're sort of floating. So if you imagine that you're in a swimming pool, you're floating on your back, and the thoughts that would normally be in your mind, the things that would normally stress you out, they're sort of floating above you, if you imagine they're sort of balloons floating above you in the swimming pool. And that's the, all they do. You, do. you notice them, obviously you see the balloons, you see them floating around, but you don't really care. You don't interact with them in a way that they control how you feel. You just notice that they're there. That's the goal, anyway. And that's how it will feel after a couple of weeks of doing this every day. Now another frequently asked question with meditation is how long should you do it for? Well, as I said, 10 to 20 minutes is the ideal time, but if you're not going to be able to stick to that for two weeks every day, then do it for two minutes. Even do it for one minute. As long as you're doing it every single day and you're gradually building up to 10 to 15 to 20 minutes a day, it doesn't matter how long you do it for. As long as you do it for more than about a minute, that's going to be enough to build the habit and get you to want to practice it more. What you can also do if it's more manageable is you can do five one-minute chunks throughout the day. I mean, everyone has a spare, what, like 60 seconds. Everyone does, right? So just build it up build it up from there. Just do five chunks of 60 seconds, whenever you find the time. You know, maybe you're in your lunch break or you're, you're sitting down or you have a bit of time before you go to bed. Everyone has 60 seconds before they go to bed, right? So just build it up like that and then work your way up to doing 15 minutes in one go. So another question that obviously a lot of people have is what's the point of it? Why would you want to meditate? Well, the chances are if you're seeing this video it's because you've in some way searched for something like how to meditate or meditation techniques or something like that. So in a way you probably already know the benefits but just in case you don't, these are the main benefits of meditation. So obviously stress and things that would normally give you anxiety and cause you to feel bad, that sort of stuff just seems to fade away and you're left instead with this self-aware bliss throughout the whole day where you're just sort of aware of what you're doing. You don't feel bad, you don't feel stressed, you don't feel worried or anxious or any of that. And you just instead feel like you're completely focused and calm. It's almost like you've had a few coffees, but you're not feeling the jittery effects of those coffees whatsoever. You're just feeling like you're calm, but yet focused at the same time. So that's obviously a massive benefit because a lot of people suffer from stress and anxiety, and especially in today's world. There's a lot of things that we get stressed about that we maybe don't need to get stressed about. Like if someone cuts you off in traffic, that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. That's a small, tiny detail in this massive world. And yet a lot of people allow that to ruin their whole day. So meditation is a way of just ignoring those petty things, ignoring the things that don't matter, and instead focusing on yourself in this moment and feeling bliss and calm and relaxed and happy. Another massive benefit is it's been shown to actually reduce the likelihood of you getting chronic diseases. I don't know the exact research for this because obviously it's a very complicated subject and there are lots of different factors to consider with these studies. I'll try and link some in the description for you to find, but it's been shown to reduce the likelihood of things like depression, like diabetes, like chronic diseases and things like this. And I'm not really sure exactly how it works, I've just, I've read a lot of articles and research that show that it does reduce these things. All I can say for certain is that Meditation does help you feel better mentally, um, it does help you reduce depression, it helps you feel happy and good and nice. These are very much layman's terms, but this is just my experience with it. You know, I used to be very depressed and obviously now I haven't been depressed for a long time um, and I would attribute that a lot to meditation and to obviously the other positive habits I've been building, but you know, it has a really good effect on you. If you don't believe me, just do it for two weeks and then see how you feel. That's one of the most important things to do. As soon as you finish your meditation, it doesn't matter how long it takes, 
ask yourself immediately afterwards, how do I feel? What, do, what does this actually feel like? Does this feel better or worse? And the chances are that after, after the first few sessions, because as I said, it's uncomfortable in the beginning because you don't really know how to do it, okay? After the first few sessions, you will feel better. After each session, you will feel better than when you started the session. And you kind of have to admit that, at least to yourself, if no one else. So just see how it feels. Don't take my word for it. Because as I said, this is just my experiences, right? It's just what I've done. You might be different. But I've never spoken to somebody who's tried meditation properly and hasn't felt better afterwards. So it's obviously, it obviously works. It's obviously a very profound, positive habit to build. But obviously a lot of people are also sceptical about it because it's so, it's still fairly new in society it's not especially in the western world it's not really that popular not as much as it is in other places it is growing in popularity simply because it works it's effective and it is a way of reducing the stress that a lot of us have on a day-to-day -day basis so another question is how often should you actually meditate as i said every day if you find that you miss a day that doesn't really matter as long as you you know get back on it the next day because the best benefits of meditation as i said is obviously if you do it every single day but if you miss a day, you know, everyone's human, you're going to miss a day here and there. So just, that's fine, you know, just go back on it. The next. There are obviously a lot of other benefits to meditation that I haven't mentioned. There's lots of health benefits. There's lots of, you know, biological, scientific benefits to your body. In layman's terms, it just makes you feel and perform better. Don't take my word for it. Give it a try and let me know how you get on in the comments. Also, leave a comment letting me know just, have you tried meditation? If so, what did it feel like? I'll see you next time.